Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can set up Flutter on your system. Also, I am going to show you how to create and run Flutter application. So, let's start the video. So guys, before starting actual video, let me just tell you what are the things required for running your Flutter application. So guys, for running Flutter application, you require what Flutter SDK. Okay, so after downloading Flutter application, we will be setting the path of Flutter in environmental variable that is the second step after that we will be downloading what android studio and then in android studio we will be downloading command line tools okay and after that in android studio we will be downloading sdk and after that the last is what we will be downloading virtual device manager okay so for running your application you need some virtual devices if you do if you are not connecting your real phone to it so these are the steps which we are going to follow so guys you have to watch my video till end without missing any of the steps otherwise your application will not run guys so let's start the video you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for flutter sdk and guys here you can see the search result so docs.flutter.dev you have to go to this side and you have to click on the first uh, link okay install flutter so it will redirect you to docs.flutter.dev website and here you can see different install installation app available depending on your operating system you can select so i am selecting for windows operating system so you need to just click on this windows tab and guys uh, once you click on this windows tab it will redirect you to this page and here it is showing the prerequisite or requirement so it is going to take around 1.64 gb and it require windows 10 or higher of that okay so this is the minimum requirement uh, for flutter and guys here we are not having uh, exe file we are having zip file okay so just click on button to uh, download this zip file and right now it is it is showing me flutter windows uh, 3. 10.5 okay so this is the stable version which it is showing if you are seeing my video uh, after few months then it may differ okay so i have just clicked on this button and it has started downloading the zip file so guys for um, installing and setting up flutter in android studio uh, you require strong internet connection you should have internet connection throughout otherwise um, your application will not be set up properly we require so many things to be downloaded so you should have proper internet connection okay so now here my zip file has been installed now i am going to extract this zip file so so i am going to the download location and here i am having uh, my uh, zip file i am doing what i am just right clicking on it and here i have option what extract all so just click on this option and here is the destination folder so guys here i am not going to keep my extract Extraction in what uh, downloads folder so I'm going to keep it inside C drive you can keep wherever you want okay so I'm just giving uh, C colon over here and here I'm just checking mark on this option show extracted files when complete so directly it will take me to my C drive folder and click on next button so guys, is it will extract your uh, zip file the content will be extracted in C drive and you can see after completion it has taken me to C drive okay Okay guys so you can see it has taken me to c colon flutter now the next step step number two what you have to do you have to set this path into the environmental variable why to set path in environmental variable because we are going to use command prompt and uh, if you don't set path then uh, the flutter command will not be recognized by your command prompt so to avoid that error what we will be doing we will be setting the path so here you can see i'm just starting command prompt and here i'm I'm just typing flutter and guys you can see i'm getting error flutter is not recognized as internal or external command okay so this is the error you get when you don't set the path so let's set the path so for that first of all i will copy the path of bin flutter bin i will go to my c drive in that flutter directory in that bin
bin so just simply copy this path and now guys what you can do you can search env that is uh, environmental variable so here you can see the option edit the environmental variable it is showing okay now guys under advanced tab you need to click on environmental variable and now here we have user variable and system variable i'm using system variable so that it should available to my all user and i'm selecting this path variable and i'm just clicking on edit okay so here i am going to paste the path for that i need to click on new button and just paste the copied path so c colon flutter bin and click on okay and then again guys you need to click on one more time okay and then one more time okay so that's all guys so the path is set into the environmental variable now just go to command prompt once again and type flutter command again so now guys see i'm not getting error that flutter is not recognized as internal or external command so my flutter is set now flutter sdk is set now now uh, flutter is having uh, what uh, it's showing me this uh, when you type flutter it's showing me what different options or menus so in this uh, there is one very helpful menu known as flutter doctor so this flutter doctor is going to show you what um, uh, different uh, options or requirement which your system is satisfying or what the requirement is not available on your system so now see i'm just typing flutter uh, doctor and here you can see it's showing me the things which are there on my pc and which are not there on my pc right so now it's showing me that uh, flutter is there windows version is satisfying for android it's showing me the exclamation marks and two cross sign so guys here you can see for vs code also it is showing me exclamation marks and cross sign so guys we have to resolve this error in vs code so we will download vs code and we will do certain settings in that okay so uh, you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for vs code download and guys here you can see this is the official website just click on this link and it will redirect you to this download page and here it is showing various operating system and i am going to install for windows operating system i am having 64 bit uh, pc so i am going to click on this option windows option so this will install for 64 bit machine so guys now you can see my uh, exe in download is started it will not take more time guys so you can see it's done now so i'm going to click on this exe for installing my vs code okay guys this is license and agreement page so here i am going to click on accept the agreement and i'm going to click on next button and guys this is the installation location of vs code i'm going to click on next button and this is showing that um, the shortcut will be created yes i want so just click on next button and guys this is showing me various option that whether you want on desktop or not so if you wish just select that otherwise click on next button this is summary whatever you have selected previously so it's showing summary just click on install button to start the installation so guys you can see installation has been started it will hardly take hardly take time and you can see the installation is done now here i'm going to click on finish button so it has started my vs code guys and this vs code um, this is a, a page which it is showing i'm just going to cross this and now guys we will be installing extension forward flutter so here left hand side you can see we have a uh, extension option you can just go to this and here you can just type flutter okay so if you install flutter uh, automatically dart will be installed you don't have to install it separately you have to select this option and just click on install install button guys so it will install flutter extension on your vs code okay so just install it it is asking me this so i'm going to click on yes trust this so just click on the first button so guys the installation of flutter has been started in my vs code 
okay so guys the installation is done now i will show you uh, typing dart also so that uh, we can confirm whether dart is there or not so you can see dart is there it's not showing me install button so that mean it is installed so now guys what we will do we will create a flutter program so here you can see it is showing me this option so i just click on this option control shift and p so here uh, now i'm going to type flutter so it will show me everything related to flutter and here i'm going to select this first option okay so flutter application i will be creating i'm not going to create what module i'm not going to create another thing i will be create, creating what flutter application so just select this application option right so click on the first option the rest option you can just explore if you want i'm not explaining right now so flutter application you can select here it is asking me folder so i'm going to select my folder so in my d drive i'm creating one new folder uh, flutter project so you can create your folder and just select this folder okay so now uh, guys here it is asking me the project name so provide the project name whatever you want so i'm providing project name as demo okay so project name always you should provide in small letter so i have just given project name as a demo project and hit enter guys and guys you can see at the left side uh, it has created the project you can see different files has been created so it has created your flutter project for android for ios for web so all type of application it has created so you can run it on chrome you can run it on ios you can run it on android also okay as well as web so now i will be showing you for web so uh, flutter project on web okay so you can do setup of android as well as ios so right guys so now what we will be doing how uh, we will run it for web so for that just go to new terminal so the code is already there guys uh, so i'm just running that code so flutter run now it's showing me option that where you want to run so i want to run on chrome so just select uh, i just type to and guys it is um, installing the flutter application in chrome and it will launch on my chrome browser and guys let me just tell you what is that code that code is nothing but it is going to show me a push button and when i click on this push button it is going to increment the value right so here you can see i'm clicking on this push button and it is incrementing value right guys so this way you can uh, run your uh, flutter project using what vs code so i hope guys by following my video you are able to successfully uh, set up your uh, vs code for flutter application guys if my video has helped you then do hit on like button and if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video guys thank you for watching my video till end see you bye bye take care